into it as others did 2,000 years ago, plus or minus a bit. Or other designs, or, and whatever this is right here, it looks like it's metal, I think it is. And then something corresponding here. Whether any of this is recent, I don't know, but it seems like this was just discovered and excavated down. Now notice how long that was in the drawing. Brilliantly, they put us a photograph here, so that, or a drawing here, so that we can imagine how it would have looked if we were seated nearby. That formed this Colosseum's floor. Now you inject the crowds, the yelling. And what went on through those portals at that end? The chariots race in and down this left side and then tower around our end and then back through those gates to win or lose? I think. Uh, gives us an idea of how the detail would have looked when it was brand new out of stone. But how magnificent it is, principally because of its intactness and the color of that stone. Themes, among many things, is that they did not have any standard height of stairs. Well, a lion's foot, perhaps, as a corner affectation and it looks like they varied them. There you can see the lion's foot. I think that's a lion's foot, but something more um, graphic it seems like there. These seats, unlike the ones we've seen elsewhere, um, not only did the seat go in concave back in from the lip of the, of the seat, but there's this embellishment there that we see. And you can see that it's frequent. It doesn't look like a reproduction either. Two holes in these seats, uh, and those quite small, squarish, as opposed to the larger ones we've seen in other theaters and so forth. Particularly along the front row area of that uh, end of aisle detail, if you will. These would have denotated their seating areas by these different icon looks. A representation of how it looked going up the aisles, but also the variability in distance between the icon or the little post details along each seating area. It's not a consistent distance. Now you inject the crowds, the yelling. And what went on through those portals at that end? The chariots race in and down this left side and then Tara around our end and then back through those gates to win or lose. Here because they had to gain this elevation as quickly as possible and then the uh, seats were more standardized it looks like in the height. Deeply undercut the seats are, which is an expensive detail but yet yeah, probably a very practical one for seating. At this end would have been very expensive because you had that entire view of both sides all the way down. And archaeologists didn't think of a way to illustrate to us easily how much higher this uh, stadium went, uh, unless that's what this reflects here. I just don't know see little holes like that, uh, rectangular rather than the square ones, but they're very infrequent. Two there, two there, one way over there, 
there's another there, there, and then down below there or so. And then curiously, one right in that stairway. Stone. It's a curious how it's a concave like it is so smoothly. What purpose did it serve? We walk down this lovely building. I'm just going to pan this. More streets angling off from this center intersection, if you will. Here's a pretty little park. More streets going off. Much to explore in the next couple days. It is yet to be fully developed. And there another pretty pedestrian street. I think that tends to go over towards the old town. Side there to the right that I didn't get. Notice that it separates there on that square and looks right down into those ruins. There's like that mauve and the light blue. Here a beautiful building. Up here, you can always close your door if you don't want to hear the noise, but if you don't, you have a little balcony, you can sit out there and watch the peeps go by. Like the old man I used to see along the strand in Manhattan Beach, he would watch me roller skate by out of his window. It's called, there's a big grocery store in the basement, and then this first floor, second floor of shops, a little bit less touristy, but still lots of debris to buy, and it's capable of being developed further, although those buildings are pretty terrible looking. Side streets are the pretty things. This can't be restored without the air conditioners blasted into their face. It would be quite pretty if they would just restore it again. It's a bank. Touristy street that just crossed under, although I'm going to nice little park. To wait for the film to run out as I begin the third segment of the long tourist walk a long tourist street walk for lack of a better name here is a mosque I don't know the name of it we'll better walk around the front the main part of the mosque is there. This little building back here, can't remember the name, it's like about five letters long, but it's the burial place of the man who either sponsored this or is sponsored on behalf of. I'm guessing that the main entrance is there and around the side. Here, what would have been a pretty fruit tree still is, but this is now just a place for lapidarium, if you will, the remains of prior chunks of this monument. There are pretty piece lying over there though. And these, uh, interestingly, that's a tombstone, so whoever was buried there is now on the dustbin of history. This fellow unimpressed by the closeness of the mosque. Look how his house seems to rotate from side to side. As he moves along, reflecting some inner workings of this little guy. The nice lace curtains suspected this man is still being respected. This looks like a very nice bridge that goes over the river, apparently. I continue to be amazed by constantly hearing Cher, Barbara Streisand, Tina Turner. Almost an allusion to the Great Bridge in Venice with its shops. Unlike most of the rivers I've seen here in cities, this one's very pretty. With the green islands, the graceful bridge, and those tall trees. I think that's the Moscow I was at a few minutes ago, I'm guessing. But there's another skyline recognizable feature.
The tourist street I walked earlier is to my left. I'm still in the third section of it, but I'm one block off. Just thought it was interesting to shoot down these pretty little side streets. Not the side, not the main drag, but they're pretty little neighborhoods with pretty little restaurants and shops and so forth. And here another mosque. This one I think is the one that was right next to the archaeological ruin. What a lovely setting for these archaeological ruins. And the main street there right ahead of us on the right and I'm going to track down here to the left and see if I can keep from getting lost since I didn't bring my map. I can imagine living here but I can't imagine what I'd do. But maybe that just requires some imagination. There's a wedding procession and a rather long one. Interesting restaurants to explore. If I drank coffee or beer, there'd be plenty of sitting around to do. See just a half a block or so off the main drag. but just been trawled a bit by these narrow streets. See, you could sit out on your balcony and pretend that you had some reason to be out there. The reality is these are just brick buildings and cement buildings with some cement gingerbread. This building looks like it was restuccoed and hopefully they'll paint it and it'll look pretty. Here another pretty little intersection that's almost ignored. 